Okay, there's my solar panels. I got those from Harbor Freight. There's uh, eight panels up there. Eight sets of three, I should say. <clears throat> this is my solar furnaces that I made. They produce heat. And then I've got a wind turbine that produces electricity. And I'll take you inside the garage. <clears throat> the uh, solar panels, this is Harbor Freight. <clears throat> um, I've got solar panels hooked up to these charge controllers which um, charges up a bunch of batteries I've got a bunch of batteries down here I think I've got 12 13 batteries all together um, that's some more up here got my inverters <clears throat> I've got a, a Chicago electric 1200 watt continuous and then uh, up here I've got a uh, 2000 watt. It's a much nicer um, inverter. <clears throat> but I got this running into the house. I run my TVs, um, you know, DVD player, all that stuff off of that. Um, I've even got it uh, running my uh, Eden Pure heater at night. So it's nice to have all this extra power. And then this one here on the end, I've got my wind turbine hooked up to it right now and we, we don't have enough wind to you know register anything on it but eventually I'm, I'm gonna put the, my other two sets of solar panels back on here and get a charge controller for uh, the, the wind turbine because that's not really the right one for the wind turbine and over here I've got a um, grid power um, 400 watt it's a plug-in uh, grid inverter grid tie inverter and uh, I've got two sets of solar panels on that and that is producing about 94 watts of power um, and that's fed back into the the grid don't tell anyone but um, <clears throat> anyways this is my little setup here I got some lights I can uh, plug these guys in here and then my lights come on and uh, I've got it set up so I can run the whole garage off of this with just a flip of a switch. And um, <clears throat> and I charge all my batteries off of this using the sun. I've got a, um, this is my uh, electric mower um, that I purchased. Got this at the hardware store. Uh, normally they're about 350 bucks. Um, the owner took it home used it about four times and apparently didn't like it so um, brought it back put it up for sale for 150 bucks so I I couldn't pass it up um, so I use this to mow my grass and um, it's battery operated and I charge it up using my my solar so um, here's the the, the uh, charger right here and it goes up and I've got it plugged into this guy right here, which is plugged into my inverter, right there, and um, so and then on top of that, I've got a weed whip that runs on electric or battery. There's that, and then I've got the the uh, blower that runs on battery. So I'm 100% green when it comes to mowing my grass. Um, you know, I know a lot of people say, well, when you charge up your battery, you're using, you know, grid power, and, and they use coal to to burn. They burn coal to, to produce electricity. Well, here I'm I'm producing my own electricity from the sun and the wind, and uh, so that makes me 100% green. So I'm pretty proud of that. That's, uh, that's most impressive. Um, the next video, um, I'm going to go into more detail about... Um, my uh, solar furnaces. I've got three of them that I built.
and these are 100% uh, solar also. But there's my uh, my wind turbine. It's going around pretty good. And that's a 400 watt uh, treadmill motor. And uh, they're really easy to make. There's no excuse uh, if you're if you're a little handy, you can make stuff like this. It's um, Here's a bunch of treadmill motors right here that I picked up in the trash. And um, with the treadmill motor, here I got one over here already built. Uh, here's the treadmill motor. And then I just got PVC pipe surrounding it to make it look good. This is all scrap stuff I had laying around. That tail is actually from the bottom of the treadmill. I had uh, taken some of these the bottom has a plastic sheet and I just cut out a bunch of them and then painted it. So the only thing I've got into this right now is paint. I, I bought a can of paint to spray it all white. Um, you know, used everything off of the, um, the treadmill. This is the cord off the treadmill. You just plug this into an extension cord and run it into your, um, your battery. You can run it right to, directly to the battery. Um, you do need to have a diode, which I do, so I take that back. I did buy the diode. I bought a half dozen of them. That's up in here somewhere. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's up in there. But uh, that's just so the, the energy goes from the wind turbine into the battery and not the other way around. You don't want the batteries running the motor. But um, here's the blades. Got the blades here. I built... Um, I built these blades out of scrap PVC pipe, and um, they're pretty easy to build. I, I balanced them, and uh, you know, if you just have a little bit of knowledge, you can build this stuff. I, you know, I love YouTube. I bought all this, or I went on YouTube and and got all the ideas, you know. And um, so, anyways, that's my video. I hope to have more soon. Thanks. Bye.